Hey guys, so it is early in the morning and we just got done doing chores. So I guess it's not too, too early. The sun is just starting to clear the trees over there. At the moment, it is still beautiful and cool. It, it actually has this little hint of autumn. Just a hint this morning. And uh, we've got a busy day ahead today. We're going to do some things in the goat enclosure. I'll make some changes, add a few things, and so that is on the agenda for today. But for now, I'm enjoying my peaceful coffee. So I just got done cutting the wood for project number one which is a stanchion for the goats. Stanchions are that little stand that you put a goat or a cow in when you need to milk them, but also it is a great way of holding a goat still when you're needing to work on their feet, trim their hooves, um, all of that. And so we're gonna go ahead and build one. And I'm hoping I can get this built today because it now looks like it's about to rain but I'm going to at least get it started. This is project number one for today. One of the things that I like to do when I'm building something is I will take a pen or a pencil, depending upon what it is I'm building, and I will write the length of each of the boards as I cut them. That way I can quickly see exactly which piece I need and not grab the wrong thing or anything like that. So the first step after I cut all the wood was to begin putting the frame together and the first pieces that I put together were the sides and one of the ends. The side pieces are 42 inches long and the cross pieces, there's three of them all together, those are each 21 inches and I held them all together with three inch screws. Uh, you could also use two and a half inch screws if that is what you have but I just happen to have three inch screws on hand. The next piece I put on was on the other end and this one actually went on three inches in from the end of the sides and this was going to be not only a support but also um, part of the framing for the stanchion part itself, the, the part that actually restrains the animal. Next we put in the piece that was the support for the platform of the stanchion and that was a piece that was 36 inches long and it went in horizontally uh, kind of perpendicular to the frame pieces. After that we put the other end on and again that was another 21 inch piece of 2x4. This entire stanchion was pretty much built out of 2x4s with the exception of the platform itself. So after the frame was completely put together then we attached the back legs. The back legs were 14 inches long each and we just again screwed those in with the uh, three inch screws. And then I had a piece for each leg that was cut at 45 uh, degree angles on each end and overall that piece was uh, about 10 and a half inches long. And those were attached as a support for the back legs to help keep them sturdy. Once we had finished attaching the back legs, then we put in the front legs. Now, the pieces that are used for the front legs are a bit longer. They were 25 inches. And the reason they were longer is not only were they the legs, but they were also the support to frame in the stanchion and hold the tray that you would put up there for the goats to have treats to uh, munch on while you are milking them or trimming their hooves. Now how long you would make this would really depend upon how big your goats are. If you have taller goats, you might actually want to make those two pieces a little bit taller. I made mine 25 inches because we have uh, Nigerian dwarves and they're, they're kind of small goats and so we wanted the trays to be right at eating level for them and so we made it all together 25 inches long. So then once we had those supports attached, we went ahead and began 
putting in the platform itself. Now a couple of weeks ago I was able to score some pallet wood, unused, never nailed, never screwed together pallet wood. And so I utilized some of that to create the platform and it was the perfect uh, size wood to do that. And of course those were all cut to the width of the platform which is 24 inches overall. Then we added two pieces of 2x4, one on each side of those supports. These pieces are what will hold the tray for the goats to munch on snacks while they're in the stanchion, but also serves as a support for the frame itself. Then after that, we took two more pieces of 2x4. Now these pieces are 39 and a half inches long. Now before we wanted to put them in place, we needed to create a space for the neck for the goats. And so we just used a jigsaw to kind of cut out a, a very shallow crescent on each side. Overall, the crescent is about 21 inches long and it's a very gradual curve because the goats, goats have skinny necks and so you don't need to make it too awful wide. So we inserted one of them and screwed it into place. And again, that is the one that was uh, stationary, it did not move. Next, we needed to attach the other one, and this is the one that was going to move. Now, because I wanted to make sure that this would be able to move easily without uh, binding up down at the bottom, I cut the corner of it off just to give it a little bit more room to move inside the frame. So we put it into place and we drilled a hole all the way through the frame and that board itself. And we used a six inch carriage bolt that was three eighths of an inch in size and a matching nut and washer. And that was it. Now to hold your goat into place and to keep the stanchion closed, you can uh, put a latch, like a metal, kind of like a gate latch on the top to hold it together or you can simply hook it together with a bungee cord and that is what we plan on doing. And there you go, the finished stanchion. Hi, buddy. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Nope, get back. <laughs> so it is now actually a couple of days later after we built the stanchion and uh, we actually did a second goat project or I did a second goat project on that day but before I show that to you I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude to all of you. I have received so many messages and emails and cards in the mail. Um, people just expressing their sympathy and empathy for our losing our dog um, so suddenly. And I didn't want another video to go by without my thanking all of you for your heartfelt wishes. Um, they are deeply appreciated. And you know, the connections that I make with people 
doing this YouTube thing is honestly what really makes it all worth it. Um, I really love the community involved in doing all of this. So the second um, goat project that I did that day was I kind of threw together a very simple little DIY hay rack for the goats. Alright, so I'm doing a quick project here for the goats. The hay holder that I have back there is this old uh, metal basket that I've had for years. It's super durable and yeah, it's great for holding hay. The problem is that this guy right here keeps climbing up there and sleeping on top of it, which is not sanitary. And so I'm doing an easy DIY, practically free uh, hay holder that will mount on the wall. And this is something I've seen lots and lots of people do, so I can't take the credit for it. I don't even know who was the first, you know, frugal and creative person to come up with it but um yeah so i'm making a hay holder out of some scrap fencing left over from uh putting in the goat enclosure watch out girl so i have a piece of fencing here that we basically folded into a pocket and just zip tied it shut on the edges. Now, because they're goats and they have a tendency to chew on things, I don't know if the zip ties will hold and we may end up using uh, wire enclosures or something along that line. Um, and so basically I'm going to mount it right here on this wall. And I'm gonna use this piece of two by four to essentially clamp it to the wall and screw it into place with my supervising crew here. Excuse me. So there it is. It's like I said, just a super simple pocket made out of fencing material. <laughs> and that's why we're changing it out. Hey, don't eat my drill. Don't eat that. <laughs> Chan Chan. <laughs> and once I take that hay uh, situation out, I'm going to actually slide all of this over to make it not as easy for them to climb up on that. Hold on, you. Give me half a second. So now I do still need to create like a little tray that goes underneath it because as they are pulling the hay out of the new holder, hay does fall on the ground. The last thing you want is goats to be eating dirty hay. And so I need something that will catch all of that so that they can still munch on the extra hay without it being all over the ground. And so that'll be my next little thing that I will do out there. So I do have an idea of how I want to do that. It'll be pretty easy. Um, 
and so hopefully I can get that done in the next couple of days that way I'm not wasting hay because right now I'm going out there and I'm picking up all the dirty hay off the ground and discarding it and composting it um, and you don't want to have to waste hay like that so those were the projects that I did that day um, now we have not yet used the stanchion our goats have never used one before and so we're going to spend some time training them kind of putting them up there and brushing them and giving them treats and getting them used to the idea of the stanchion and um, so eventually hopefully fingers crossed we'll be able to use it on a regular basis and um, it'll make trimming hooves and eventually milking goats much easier I will be putting an article on my blog cosmopolitancornbread.com with all of the measurements and print instructions for creating the stanchion uh, with the cut list and all of that for quick reference. So that is it. Thanks for hanging out here again at the homestead. If you have any questions about any of the things that I did in this video, whether it was building the stanchion or the little hay rack, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread and I will talk to you all next time.